Let's see the abdominal aortic branches. Abdominal aorta is continuation of descending thoracic aorta, from the aortic hiatus. It extends till the bifurcation into common iliac arteries. First we will see the five paired lateral abdominal wall branches, inferior phrenic artery, and four lumbar arteries. Next we'll see the three paired lateral visceral branches, middle suprarenal artery, renal artery, and gonadal arteries, testicular arteries in male, and ovarian artery in females. The inferior phrenic artery gives rise to superior suprarenal artery, and renal artery gives rise to inferior suprarenal arteries. We'll hide the above branches to see the three three single anterior visceral branches, celiac trunk, superior and inferior mesenteric arteries. Celiac trunk arises at the level of 12th thoracic vertebra. The celiac artery supplies blood to the liver, stomach, abdominal esophagus, spleen, and the superior half of both the duodenum and the pancreas. These structures correspond to the embryonic foregut. It divides into common hepatic, splenic, and left gastric arteries. Left gastric artery gives gastric and esophageal branches. Splenic artery gives pancreatic, splenic, short gastric, and left gastroepiploic arteries. Common hepatic artery branches into proper hepatic artery, gastroduodenal, and right gastric arteries. Proper hepatic artery divides into left and right hepatic arteries. Right hepatic artery gives cystic artery. Gastroduodenal artery divides into superior pancreaticoduodenal artery and right gastroepiploic artery. Right gastric artery runs along the lesser curvature of the stomach. Superior mesenteric artery arises at the level of first lumbar vertebra. It supplies the intestine from the lower part of the duodenum, through two-thirds of the transverse colon, as well as the pancreas. These structures correspond to the embryonic midgut. It gives rise to inferior pancreaticoduodenal artery, jejunal arteries, ileal arteries, iliocolic arteries, right colic, and middle colic arteries. Iliocolic artery gives rise to anterior and posterior cecal arteries. Appendicular branch arises from posterior cecal artery. Inferior mesenteric artery arises at the level of third lumbar vertebra. The territory of distribution of the IMA is equivalent to the embryonic hindgut. That is, it supplies the large intestine from splenic flexure to the upper part of the rectum, which includes the descending colon, and the sigmoid colon. It gives rise to left colic artery, sigmoid arteries, and it continues as superior rectal artery. The median sacral artery is a small single posterior branch of the distal abdominal aorta. The common iliac artery divides into external and internal iliac arteries. The external iliac artery passes beneath the inguinal ligament and becomes the common femoral artery. External iliac artery gives rise to inferior egogastric and deep circumflex iliac arteries. These vessels supply blood to the muscles and skin in the lower abdominal wall. Internal iliac artery divides into anterior and posterior division. Posterior division gives rise to iliolumbar artery, lateral sacral artery, and superior gluteal artery. Anterior division gives rise to umbilical artery, and superior vesicular artery arises from it, in some people superior vesicular artery arises as a separate branch, other branches of anterior division are, obturator artery, inferior vesicular artery in male or vaginal artery in female, middle rectal artery, internal pudental artery and inferior gluteal artery. In females there is additional branch called uterine artery.